Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix row shade if it's not working. So the first thing that we're going to do is open our task manager. All right, now that we're here, we're just going to close three things. First is the Roblox client. You'll have to close all the Roblox client if it's open. You also have to close Steam. And another thing is the Adobe applications. Now, once you're done with that, you just have to close this one. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to download Roshade once again. So we're going to download the latest version of Roshade. So we're going to click this one here and then we're just going to click download. And then the same thing, we'll just have to wait for a few seconds. All right, click this one. All right, and now it is being downloaded once again. We're just going to reinstall this one. Okay, and then we're going to click run and then we're going to click install. All right, click next, install once again. Okay, click next, and then we are going to click close and follow. All right, so you can follow this one, but it's okay. I'm just going to close this one. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go to compatibility settings. We're just going to open our Roblox. All right, there you go. We're just going to click this one. We're going to open file location. So we're just going to right click open file location once again and once we're here we're just going to right click this one and then we're going to click properties and then we're also going to go to compatibility setting and then we're going to click this one disable full screen optimizations and we're going to click apply we're also going to close this one now we're also going to do the same thing with the roblox studio right click this one and then we're going to click open file location still the same thing right click and then we're going to go to properties click compatibility disable full screen optimizations click apply and then OK. Now, once that's done, the next thing that you're going to do is you're just going to basically restart your computer and hopefully it should work like that.